Welcome to Maine, where clean water, farm fresh ingredients, and the creativity of rugged souls combine to create craft beer, spirits, and fine wines known around the world. With well over 100 craft breweries, distilleries, and wineries open in Maine, there's so much opportunity to create a tailored adventure in every corner of this great state. Join us each week as we meet the makers and toast to the economic impact that the craft beverage scene is having in our state. Cheers from me. Hello everyone, I'm Dan Tilton with Skowhegan Savings Bank and we are proud to be the presenting sponsor of Cheers from Maine. We're excited to show you the craft brewing, distilling and wine industry here in Maine and the positive economic impact these industries are having on our state. At Skowhegan Savings Bank, we've been helping Mainers with their banking needs for over 150 years. Whether you're looking to buy your first home, open a new checking account or grow your business, we're here for you. So please stop in at one of our 12 locations throughout the state of Maine. We would love to see you. Cheers from Skowhegan Savings. Maine is a big state full of nooks and crannies, views, lakes, mountains, and bold coastlines just waiting to be explored. If you have a sense of adventure, openness to try new things, and a desire to hit the road, then you and me will get along great. After 10 years spent traveling around the state, I've learned that nothing pairs better with local beer than some outdoor adventure. So join me as I head around the state visiting breweries for great beer and... We are at Belfast Bay at Marshall Wharf Brewing Company. Got it. And Thanks for coming. It's always nice. good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be here. How many beers do you have uh, on tap right last, now? Last count it was north of 30. North of 30. So yeah. you must have a gigantic brewery, a staff of like 100. Is that yes. Yeah. No, none of that. Uh, no, we have uh, a staff of one, and then Dan is on in the mornings, and Great. in the mid-morning, uh, mash out and then uh, no, it's just keep the tanks full and when they're ready, push them out. We've got a nice selection of IPAs. I love our double IPA Can't Dog. We've got great hazy IPAs and I'm drinking my Sharona, which is a New England IPA. Nice. That I love. Uh, I think my, my always Marshall Wharf love has been Can't Dog. <laughs> Can't Dog. Can't Dog. And then Can't running dog. up second is Florida Man, which is a oh, creation yeah. of Kevin's. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's just a Citrus. hazy, citrusy IPA. It reminds me of that breakfast drink tang that we used to have as kids. Got yeah, it, it is 100% yep. citrus. IPA. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Super yep. delicious. Yeah. I mean, it was originally opened by Sarah and David Carlson in 2007, and then it closed in 2018. Yeah, I believe so, yep. Yeah. And then I'll let you tell the rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I worked here for a couple of years, just over a couple of years, both in the bar and in the brewery, and um, I loved it. I always, I loved the space, I loved the vibe, I loved the beer. Um, Me too. So when we went, you know, and after we, I left here, we went in a different direction, the contracting route, and then when the opportunity came back around and presented itself, I was like, Kathleen, what do you think? She's like, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. then we talked and talked and talked and figured out how. And, and it, took, it took a while. I mean, there was a lot of back and forth. And, but and, we pulled it together and we made a deal and here and, we are. <laughs> and Kevin came on really early on in the game when we were renovating. He was like, us, like he was them. still a yeah. professor in the college, and he was like, I'm just looking for a summer gig, you know, whatever it is. So it was like, how about resetting a whole brewery? <laughs> Little did I know. So Little you, did you I know. Another... We were colleagues at Unity. Yeah. That's okay, how... yeah. awesome. Yeah. Scrubberg at Unity College. Okay, great. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, yeah, without cheers. further ado, guys, cheers. thanks for having us. Cheers. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. We're going to go cheers. around the harbor here. All yeah. right. So beer and uh, Santa Paddleboard. Thanks That's for taking right, yeah. me out. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it's a great awesome. spot to be. There's a lot of harbors in Maine, I feel like, that are mostly scenic, but this is a real working harbor. We got the tugboats, we got a shipyard here. Oh yeah, you don't want to be out there on a paddleboard when the tugboats come in, because they throw quite a way, so. <laughs> I bet, I bet that was awesome to see the uh, houseboat over there and all that. I mean, there's some yachts in here. Yeah. There's some 
little dinghies. There's everything in between. It's that good mix of, uh, you know, something. Something's happening here. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, we have great neighbors both on both sides. It's you know, they do their thing and we have a lot of customers and that come in and that's what the, you know, when the tugboat starts, they flock to the rail, they take photos of it leaving or we're coming in and then the super yachts going by, they want to photograph that, so. I believe it. It's, you know, I, the, the way I always describe Maine beer is it's authentic. This is a real working port. You guys yeah. have a real working brewery brewing an awesome amount of beer here. Yep. Yeah, so, it's been great. Dan, thanks so much for showing me around Marshall Wharf. Yeah, Appreciate thanks for it. including us. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I'm Don Littlefield of Maine Brews Crews. For 10 years now, we've been using our brew bus to bring thousands of thirsty guests to learn about Maine's incredible breweries, wineries, and distilleries. For our tours, we have to stay up to date on all of the new businesses that are opening up around the state. I want to share that knowledge with you. Hop on board and join me to find out about the new kids on the block. Today we're visiting Cumberland County. Two friends and former colleagues at a very well-known Boston brewery came north and opened Bellflower Brewing. Since they opened their doors in Portland's lively East Bayside neighborhood, their well-made beers with a clear connection to agricultural products have earned the brewery fans all throughout New England. Welcome to Bellflower. We're located in East Bayside. I'm Nick. I'm one of the brewers and one of the co-owners. So Zach and I met probably in 2012 or 2011. We were both home brewers at the time. And uh, we connected with a, a very kind person, uh, JC Tatro from Trillium Brewing Company, who offered us uh, the ability to get some experience professionally uh, and you know help build the new brewery. So that's how we met. We met at, at Trillium, helping open the brewery there. You know, I knew that when, when I found it initially that Zach would be the perfect partner because of his his technical background and his his uh, skill and abilities in, in making really, really awesome beer. The name Bellflower actually comes from uh, my family's farm. We've been in New England a long time, and you know, my great grandmother, she named it the Bellflower Farm. We still have a lot of first time customers, you know, only being open for uh, around a year and a half now. Um, so whether it's someone discovering something new or someone coming in for their, their favorite beer, you know, um, we try to have something on the menu at all times for, for everybody. So, you know, if you're somebody who likes to drink lagers, you know, we try to have a lager on all the time. Um, same with stouts and IPAs, really hoppy beer, double IPAs, sours, fruited sours, um, all those different kinds of, kinds of varieties. And, you know, usually everybody, we can find something for everyone's taste. You know, not everyone likes to drink stouts in the summer. Maybe I do, but, you know. Uh, not everyone does, and so we try to we try to um, have a diverse enough portfolio for, for everyone that comes in the door to, to have something to offer. To see people's reactions to the brand and to the beer has been overwhelming. Um, you know, we we love what we do, and we hope that that comes through. And I think that the fans pick up on that, um, if you can call them that. <laughs> it seems it's very humbling. It's it's very strange to think of being so kind of public with the thing that you love, um, but it's a lot of fun and we're glad people enjoy it. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers from Bellflower. I hope you've enjoyed this look into one of Maine's newest craft producers. For more information about all of the new openings in the state, visit these websites and cheers from Maine Brews Crews. I am so proud to be part of a family that is committed to helping our communities. Each day, our Skowhegan Savings team is dedicated to holding out our values of integrity, teamwork, being privileged to serve, and being straightforward with our customers. It's why we look forward to coming to work each day and why the Skowhegan Savings Foundation is investing in workforce development for tomorrow's workforce. As part of being straightforward, I have an open door policy. I will take your calls or you can come visit me in Skowhegan and I can explain how the bank really helps our communities.
so excited to be on the golf course today here at Riverside and then head down to Foundation for a cold brew. Thank you, let's go. Here at Riverside Golf Course, uh, we're owned by the City of Portland. Um, we feature an 18-hole course, 9-hole course, and also a 3-hole practice course. Um, very player-friendly. So here at Riverside, um, a lot of the holes are open. Um, one of my favorite holes is probably the 17th. Um, it's an elevated tee, teeing down into the fairway. Um, it's kind of a little dog leg right. So it really kind of brings in the feature how the ball just kind of hangs out there until it, until it lands down into the fairway. The location, um, it's a great spot. You know, just down the road we have um, you know, a few breweries, Foundation, Allagash. Um, it's a great spot for players to come out, play golf, and then hit up the breweries for, for the after. Working at Riverside, it's a great, great place. Um, you know, I love players coming in, excited to get out there and play golf. They're not working, you know, they're not, they're not home doing, you know, yard work or anything. They're just out having fun, you know, enjoying, enjoying their friends. So yeah, Riverside, we have, you know, just over 500 members, um, and it's, it's a great feeling. You know, everybody plays quite a bit. They all come here to hang out in the restaurant. You know, they all go play. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a great friendship that a lot of people are connected to. So to book a tea time here, um, just go to our website, click book a tea time, follow the instructions, or you could also call us. We'd love to see you guys come out, play, and uh, enjoy around here at Riverside. Uh, so at the club at Riverside, we offer a uh, pub style menu, uh, full bar. We support a lot of the local breweries right around in town here. Um, we offer a mug club as well. And we have a lot of people that are part of the golf association as well as the outside community that are part of that mug club. The relationship with the golf course and the restaurant um, is Pretty much the golfers come off the course and want to have a cold beer, some quick food. Um, they're really what drives the restaurant to be successful. Um, it's like a little family here, so it's great. And the best part about uh, the club at Riverside is that we do offer live music uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, sometimes all three, and it's outside on our deck. And it's really Portland's like best kept secret for the sunset. So, And we can't wait to have you come and join us for the sunsets. Uh, right on our deck. What a great day, Victoria, hanging out here at the club and the course. One of the awesome things about this area that I love is there's so many things to do right close by. Why don't we head down to Foundation for one more beer? Can we eat the food first? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, great. Hi everyone, I'm Kate with Make-A-Wish Maine. For 30 years now, Make-A-Wish has been granting life-changing wishes for children battling critical illnesses here in Maine. Our supporters, volunteers, and community partners join forces to bring hope to wish kids and their families when it is needed most. Wishes provide kids the opportunity to visit someplace magical, the chance to meet their hero, the ability to have something they never thought possible. To learn more about how you can join us in making wishes possible, visit our website at main.wish.org. Hi, I'm John Bonney. I'm one of the owners here at Foundation Brewing Company, and we're really psyched to have you guys here today. Foundation uh, started initially when I met my business partner, Joel Mahaffey, at a homebrew club in Bangor. Um, we connected over beers, and over a couple of years, decided to eventually start this. Uh, so here we are today. So we ended up in the Riverside community as our base of operations because we were really looking for space uh, anywhere between Bangor and Portland. Uh, and we kept coming back to uh, this, this neighborhood and uh, the buildings that were here. And uh, this uh, has been an incubator for a lot of breweries. Uh, so some space opened up and uh, we jumped on it and here we are. We love being uh, part of the Riverside community. Uh, one, I live about a mile up the street, uh, so it's a pretty easy commute. Uh, my kids all went to Portland High. Uh, we love the fact that they were part of the swimming. Uh, the city pool's like 
half a mile that way. Um, and it's just been a great neighborhood. Uh, both, there's a lot of businesses around here. Um, it's really been able to connect with the folks who, who do that, as well as the fact that it's also really residential. Um, you know, a couple of our uh, brew team actually live, you know, a quarter mile away and just walk to work every day. Uh, my partner lives uh, in the neighborhood too and rides his bike in. So it's really been a place where you can both live and work. Part of the draw too here is that um, there's a lot of kind of fun things to do out this way. Uh, one directly across the street is the Riverside Trolley Park, which is a city park, uh, not only has baseball fields, but it's also where there was a uh, old casino. Um, the, uh, the city has, uh, is in the process of renovating that and rebuilding that there, uh, but a lot of folks will come walk their dogs back there, uh, take their kids over and then kind of wander over for a beer afterwards. Uh, also down the street is Riverside uh, Golf Course, uh, which actually I go play at about once a week. Uh, and um, we get a lot of folks who will go over to Riverside, uh, knock the ball around a little bit and then pop over here for a uh, beer on their way home. One of the other cool things about Riverside, uh, Allagash is across the street, next door is Battery Steel, Austin Street is directly behind us, um, Definitive is next door, uh, and then right around the corner actually is also Geary's. Uh, so we have all these breweries kind of in this neighborhood and it's really created uh, a tremendous, it, I don't know if there's any other place quite like it in the country. Um, you can come here, you can wander around, uh, we're all within easy walking distance of each other. Uh, and on the weekends, it's often kind of like a little bit of a block party going on. Um, plus, you know, we all have certainly worked with each other, helped each other out. Um, Allagash is definitely the, everyone's kind of big brother and uh, really um, have just been fantastic neighbors from day one. So this is where we started, right in this space. In 2014, uh, our first year, we probably produced about 400 barrels of beer. This year, um, we're now around 4,000 barrels. Wow. wow so we've been here the whole time, and this is the brew house. It hasn't moved in eight years, so that's pretty exciting, even through the growth, but we've grown that way. Um, we're prepping right now to package tomorrow, and uh, we'll be packaging Weekender, which is a session IPA. It's 4%. A uh, really nice, crushable Ooh. IPA for it's summer. It's a bow beer. That's, That's a bow beer. Four percent. Yeah. What's it called again? Tell me. Weekend. Okay. Weekender. There it That's is. What we need. Yeah. Dan, it was great to come out to Riverside and get out on the golf course today with you. Thanks, Victoria. It's always great to swing a golf club and have a cold beer. Cheers. Cheers. Selling your car? Let Berlin City make it easy for you. We'll buy you a vehicle, whether you buy one from us or not. At Berlin City, we offer a fast and accurate vehicle appraisal using most up-to-date market information. Like this magazine from 1981. Just kidding, it's Jimmy. That way you have more time doing things you love doing. So visit us online or any of our locations so we can buy your car and you can keep driving. At Aristyle, we specialize in bra fit. So we work with women on a one-on-one -on -one basis to provide them comfortable, well-fitting bras for their everyday life, as well as for those moments of fun. And although someone might look at this store and what we do and think, oh, it's just a lingerie store, I challenge you to think about what lingerie is in completely different terms. Because for a woman, it's the first layer she puts on her body every day. And it's going to set the tone for not only how she goes about her day, but how she feels about herself. And that's always gonna have a ripple effect in her life and the lives of her loved ones and those that she reaches every day. Whether you're spending time on the coast or taking a day trip to the mountains, drive and discover a new Maine destination. 
have fun in a new or previously loved Honda. When on the road, you can rest assured that your vehicle is serviced by factory trained technicians. Whether it's something small or something more, the main Honda dealers always use genuine Honda parts on your Honda. The factory trained technicians are honest, thorough, and want you to know that they have your back. It's the main way. From the express service to tire and oil changes and beyond, you can trust the technicians trained by Honda, and they'll make sure your vehicle is up to standards for all maintenance and care. Throw in some new parts and accessories to make your trips even more adventurous. Book your next service at any of the main Honda dealer locations. See you next time. On this episode, we've traveled all over the state, introducing you to new places and activities, and now it's time to eat. Whether you're catching a game, playing trivia, or meeting up with some friends for some bites and brews, these bars are hopping. Hey everyone, welcome to the Depot Sports Pub down here in Gardner, Maine. I'm Bree Carroll. I've been here for almost six years now as a bartender server. Steve Casey is the owner here. He's owned it for, I think, 14 years. He has turned the Depot upside down from what it started. He has some cool pictures of what it used to be. He's one of probably the best bosses I ever had. The Depot is your typical sports bar. We've got 36 draft beers, rotating a lot of them quite often. Um, food is great. Wings are probably our number one seller. We have about 15 seats at the bar. We've got, like I said, a bunch of rotating taps. We've got a lot of local IPAs. Kushnock right out of Augusta. We've got Bateau right down here in Gardner. That's also Steve's brewery that he runs. If beer isn't really your choice, we have a full stocked bar. We've got a new drink menu that we just came out. All of the bartenders and servers put that together. Something different, something fun. The atmosphere here is a blast. Everybody's always in a good mood. We've got a great crew of people. We've all been here for, I think our shortest person is three years. Our longest, James and Abby, they've both been here for 10. All the regulars that come in, everybody knows us by name. We know all them by name. It's just a lot of fun. The community support here in Gardner is awesome. Everybody loves coming in. They, even throughout the pandemic, we did take out. We had all of our regulars were supporting us. All of downtown Gardner was supporting us. It was, it was a really nice feeling when you were not used to having something not so normal in your life. So that was pretty cool. I told you about some of our popular food items. Um, we've got a couple things here. The Patriot Pizza is one of the most popular items. It's usually on specials on Sunday too, which is nice. It's got a little bit of meat and veggies, something for everyone. The wings are technically double wings. So you're getting two pieces of chicken for one. Um, the steak and cheese is probably the most popular sandwich that we have green peppers, onions, and mushrooms. You get your choice of french fries. We've got curly, sweet potato, regular. And then we also have homemade cheesecake from Batter Up Bakery right in Litchfield. She does an awesome job. So we're rotating two different cheesecakes a week too. So that's pretty cool. Our prices are beyond awesome. I've, I can't go to another restaurant and get what you get here for the same price. Steve's really, really reasonable. He stays really good on his prices even when Things are going up for him, they're not going up for us. He does a great job. I think that's why we have so many returning people. Thanks guys, stop into the depot next time you're down in Gardner. Try out our wings, come watch a game, have a good drink. It's gonna be a good time. The good news is, you can always just go. I'm gonna stop there and let, <laughs> ask me that question again and we can repeat Editing, it. yeah. Uh, live video feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The more what? <laughs> the more awkward, the better, yeah. It was a great swing. It was a great yeah. swing. It will be. It will be. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. Um, we've got a full bar with multiple drinks. There's something on here. It's very nice.